Hey everybody, welcome to Saturday Morning Storytime. I'm so excited you're with me this morning because I'm just so excited about Storytime because we're going to talk about and read a book from one of my favorite stories in the Bible. And it's one of my favorite times of year. And it's one of my favorite holidays too. We're going to read a story about Christmas. Oh, I guess you're probably thinking Pastor Rich is kind of goofy because it's not Christmas time yet. We haven't even had Thanksgiving. But you know what? Christmas is so important. It's such an important story from the Bible. It's such an important moment for the whole world. And on top of that, it's really fun. It's beautiful with all the lights and decorations. And we have the opportunity to give gifts to people, which is super important because one of the most specialist gifts of all time came at Christmas when God gave us the baby Jesus, his son, as a gift to the whole world. So when we give gifts, we should remember that we do that to celebrate the gift of Jesus. You know... There are some really cool things that happen at Christmas time, and I want to share with you one of the things that we do every Christmas that's super important to us, and we've done with family and friends and, and people from, from other churches and all kinds of places. Well, I want to read a story first, and then we're going to talk about that special thing we do way before Christmas. But it's all about Christmas. The story the, for the today is the story of Christmas. Do you guys know about the story of Christmas? The true story of Christmas? It says, do you know why we give gifts at Christmas? We give presents because it's Jesus' birthday. Looky there. Wow, they have a pretty tree with lots of presents and a fireplace with stockings and yummy things in there. Oh, that's really important. Can you see that right there on top of the fireplace? That's called a nativity scene. And it's a scene about Jesus' birth. And the manger, and there's Mary and Joseph, and a shepherd, and camels. There's all kinds of cool things. And three wise men. Well, let's see. Oh, look. He's giving a present and she's, she's giving a present to the little boy. He looks really excited. And the girls are opening their present. She got a teddy bear. And the doggy even looks excited about that. It looks like they're having a great Christmas celebrating Jesus' birthday. It says, long ago, an angel told Mary she would have a baby named Jesus. There's the angel. And that's Mary, Jesus' mom. Mary and her husband Joseph were very happy. They had a lot to do to get ready for the baby Jesus. Oh, they're getting busy with all kinds of things, aren't they? Well, but first they had to take a long trip to Bethlehem. Mary rode on a donkey and Joseph walked. There's Bethlehem way down there. And there's Mary on the donkey with all of their things packed. And Joseph is leading the donkey. <gasps> Look, there's a little bird hiding in that bush. That's cool. Well, they're on a long, long walk. Let's see what else is going on. <gasps> they got to Bethlehem. Many people were there. Mary and Joseph were very tired. I bet they were really tired. On a very long journey... Joseph walking and Mary riding on the donkey, and she had the baby Jesus in her tummy. <gasps> Joseph were Mary and Joseph were very tired, but there was no place for them to stay. Oh no! What are they going to do? Where are they going to stay? <gasps> oh, look at maybe this man will help them. Let's see. I hope he has a place for them to stay. <gasps> They slept on a bed of hay in a stable. That's kind of like a barn. Can you see all the animals in there? We've got a donkey and a baby donkey. And that looks like a baby cow right there. And there's two more cows and two sheep. Can we count the animals? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. Seven animals. And there's Joseph and Mary. And oh, look, that night baby Jesus was born. Mary's holding baby Jesus. A stable is kind of like a barn. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Huh. Well, angels told the shepherds, Jesus is born. You will find him lying in a manger. <gasps> Look at all the angels are so excited that the baby Jesus was born. And they told the shepherds, and all the shepherds are excited. And there are their sheep, one, two, three, four sheep. That is so cool. I bet the shepherds were scared at first. All those angels appearing in the sky, that might be kind of scary if you had never seen an angel before. But they didn't want them to be afraid. They wanted them to be super happy and full of joy because the baby Jesus had been born. That would be pretty neat to be one of those shepherds and to know about all of that. Wise men followed the star to the stable and the baby Jesus. Look, there's a star, and it's over the city Bethlehem. And there's one, two, three wise men that are going to see the baby Jesus. You know, there's a lot going on, isn't there? There's so many people in Bethlehem, and Mary Joseph had to travel a long way on a donkey, and then they had to sleep in a stable, and that's like a barn. And it was probably kind of smelly in there, too. But Jesus was born in there, and they were all so excited. And then the angels appeared to the shepherds, and the shepherds went to go see Jesus. And now there's three wise men, three kings, going to see Jesus. <gasps> they brought presents because they loved him. Look, at there's one of their camels is in the barn now, too. And there's one, two, three wise men. And they have three gifts. Do you see those gifts? One, two, three. The Bible tells us that they bought, brought gold and frankincense and myrrh. Those were the gifts they brought him. He looks like such a cute baby, all nestled up in his mommy's arms. Well, let's see. It says, we give gifts at Christmas to show our love. God gave us Jesus to show his love. And the wise men gave gifts to Jesus to show their love. And now we get to give gifts to other people to show our love. Look at how pretty the tree is. And they, somebody got a snowman for a present. And a hockey stick. Do you like to play hockey? And she got a book on how to draw. And he got an airplane. That'd be fun. Wow. And they're getting hugs, too. I bet you know what? I bet they said, thank you. Because we should always remember to say thank you when someone gives us something, shouldn't we? If mom or dad makes dinner, when it's time for dinner, we should say, thank you. Or if it's our birthday and somebody gives us a present, we should say thank you. We should remember to say thank you to God for giving us the baby Jesus and being able to celebrate Christmas. Let's see. And we say, Happy Birthday, Jesus! They've got all the figures for the nativity scene, the scene of Jesus' birth. There's Joseph and baby Jesus and Mary and sheep and cattle, and one, two, three wise men, and a shepherd, and there's a donkey, and the stable. Do you have a nativity in your house? We have a couple different ones that we have in our house that are very, very fun to set up because they tell the whole story. Without any words or pages, you just get to see all the pieces of the Christmas story. That is so much fun. I really like this book. This would be a great gift for somebody, wouldn't it? Well, you know what? For a whole bunch of years, we have done something really special at Christmas time. And it starts with a piece of cardboard. Huh. Well, that doesn't look like much, does it? Oh, I've got it on the wrong side. Are you ready? There! Look at that! 
That piece of cardboard has all kinds of decorations on it. It says Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child. <gasps> Jesus was a Christmas child, wasn't he? Well, I don't think that's what this means. But look at there's kids on here. A girl with a doll and a boy with a soccer ball. Another girl playing with a ball. And there's more on this part too. It says little ones to him belong. Do you know who the him is? It's Jesus. Little ones to Jesus belong. And there's, well, there's a boy with a present and a girl with a present and another girl and another girl. She's got a doll and some other fun things in there. This is a really neat piece of cardboard. But you know what? It doesn't just stay a piece of cardboard. If you fold it in all the right ways, it becomes something even more special than a piece of cardboard. It becomes a box. Look at that. That same piece of cardboard. Remember, there's the kids we just looked at. And here's some of the other ones. And there's that airplane with a box that says Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child. Well, there's nothing in here. That's kind of strange. Look, it's empty. Well, would you like to get a box that was empty for Christmas? I don't think so. Well, this is the cool thing about Operation Christmas Child. You can get a box just like this, or you can get a box like your shoes came in. A shoe box, just a plain shoe box. And then you can fill it with special things, and they close them up, and they pack them all together, and they put them on airplanes, like, not quite like that, it doesn't have a box in the middle, but airplanes, and they fly them all over the world to kids that might not otherwise get a present for Christmas. Isn't that great? But you know what? What's really cool is inside every one of the boxes is the story like I just read you, about Jesus being born and about how much he loves us and about how eventually he died on a cross to save us from our sins and then he rose from the grave. That's the story of Easter. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But this is the Christmas story all wrapped up in a box with gifts for kids all over the world. And you can be a part of it. You can even put a picture of yourself inside so that the kid that gets it someplace else would see what you looked like. And you could even write a note in there telling them that Jesus loves them and you're sharing a gift of love with them. There's so many cool things that you can do with these. Well, I'm going to show you a few of the things we can put in the box. We're going to open it up there and there's all kinds of, you know what? I thought of something really great that would be good to put in the box. That story we read, so they'd know the story of Christmas. And you know what the other cool thing is? They'll put the story of Christmas in the box in the language that others read or speak, in the country that they're going to. Maybe if some of them went to a country that spoke a language other than ours, that didn't speak English, maybe they spoke Spanish. And then this little book, would have all the words in Spanish so they could read it and understand the story of Christmas and about Jesus' life and his love. Well, I'm going to put the storybook in here. And, you know, the other thing I forgot to tell you, you can choose whether the box goes to a boy or to a girl and put all kinds of different things in there. Maybe, you want, maybe you're a little girl and you want to send a box to a little girl. Or maybe you're a little boy who wants to share and send a box to a little boy. Or maybe you want to make several boxes. I have a friend named Janet who makes all kinds of boxes and puts them together. And other friends that do it too. It's so much fun. Well, we could put a hairbrush in there because everybody needs, well, maybe not everybody needs a hairbrush. But a hairbrush would be a good thing to have and put in there. And maybe a toothbrush. How about a water bottle? That would be a good thing. We can fit that in there. And a football? 
Maybe they don't have a football and they'd like to learn how to throw one. <gasps> These are really fun. To put colored pencils or crayons in there. Wow, this is getting really fun. And look, there's a bunch of stuff in our box. Well, let's see. Oh, these are cards with the alphabet and puzzle pieces. That's kind of cool. So you can learn your alphabet and have fun putting a puzzle together. Oh, it's a little tiny baby doll. Isn't that cute? Some little girl would really love that. Let's see. Oh, one of my favorites. It's a stuffed Ninja Turtle. That would be a fun thing to send. Oh, and it'd be good to maybe send a pair of socks or a t-shirt or, or something else like that. So they would have some things. And maybe even a toy lion. There are so many great things that you can put in there to share your love, to share a special gift, and to share the story of Jesus with someone far, far away. That is so cool. I really love Operation Christmas Child because it's just a fun way to give and to share the story of Jesus. Well, I've got lots of stuff in this box, so I might have to go get another one and fill a second one. And then you get it all closed up and you put a label on it for who it's going to go to and you got to get it all squished in there together like that. I wonder where this box will go. I wonder if it'll go to Africa or to Asia, or who knows? It could go anywhere God wants it to go. Because I bet there's a special little boy or a special little girl that would love to get a box full of some really special things and the chance to learn about Jesus. I'm so excited for it. I'm going to pray before we go, and we're going to pray for the box too, and whoever those fun things go to, that they would know and learn about Jesus in their own language, and they'd have some fun with some of the things that we're sending along. Can you guys close your eyes, put your hands together, and let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the Operation Christmas Child and the opportunity to give gifts to people far, far away. And we thank you for the opportunity to share Jesus with other people. Lord, we know we can do that with the people around us any day. But this is a special chance to share the love of Jesus with people all over the world. People we may never meet, but they get to know about you, Jesus, and get some fun stuff to play with or color or, or read or wear. And that's so super special to do. Jesus, we thank you for everybody who's doing Operation Christmas Child Boxes and hope that we can all do one to share the love of Jesus and to celebrate Jesus' birthday. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey guys, have your parents check out Operation Christmas Child. I think you'll really have fun doing it. Our kids did. We do as a family. And it'd be super fun to hear about maybe some of the things that you put in your box. I know it's early for Christmas to be talking about it and reading stories, but the truth is these Operation Christmas Child boxes are going to get collected in just a few weeks and begin to be sent out all over the world. Well, it's going to be time to go. Love you guys. Have a great week. Share the story of Jesus because no matter what time of year it is, it's always good to share Jesus' story and his love with everyone we know and maybe some people we haven't even met yet. You guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye!